so I'm on my way to the dentist and I almost forgot that I had to go to the dentist today. Almost prevented me from making this video, not gonna lie, because if you'd ask me if I'm one of those crazy people who actually likes the dentist, <laughs> that's insane. Because if you like to go to the dentist, I really question you as a person, like your character. Who wants to go and get their teeth just scraped on? for 30 minutes. If the checkup is good, if I don't have cavities, then I will continue on with this video. And I really hope my checkup is good. Unlike most people who go to the dentist, um, like the day before, I really don't go crazy on like the, um, the tooth brushing, you know, I just put an average amount of toothpaste on. I don't really go too hard on, you know, brushing my teeth and panicking. Like, you know, I just do like an average floss. I maybe floss like three times a day and then um, maybe did mouth, you know, mouthwash for just, you know, casual 30 minutes, you know. I didn't go too crazy. No, I didn't panic at all. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. I would almost compare it to a job interview. You know that feeling before job interview or also maybe like um you know the feeling when your coach like tells you you know bring your running shoes today um meet me in the locker room in about 30 minutes that's that's the feeling i get when it's time to go to the dentist checkup went okay. I really didn't have any reason to worry. Still got pretty good teeth, I guess, for the most part. I always leave the dentist like, girl, you had no reason to worry. Why are you stressing? And then watch me. Six months later, I'll be like, <laughs> now since I am in a good mood and since the checkup was good, I will show you guys everything that I have thrifted and put in my living room. Now keep in mind my living room it's probably the room that has the least amount of thrifted stuff. I would say the kitchen is probably the most. We also have a ton of stuff that I've thrifted that I've stored up because I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with it later. But here are all the thrifted things that I have put in our living room. So I apologize because everything that I have thrifted is hiding behind a bunch of Christmas stuff right now. But first big thing, that I thrifted was jars. Like, I always thrift jars. You can never have too many jars. I'm sorry, Margo is. <laughs> Hello. You can never have too many jars in your house because you always have things to put them in. Oh, by the way, speaking of this jar, me and Will's anniversary is tomorrow, our two year anniversary. I can't believe it. And on our wedding day, we had everybody write us notes and put them in this jar. So our, on our one year anniversary, we opened them up and read them. Some of them were hilarious and some of them made me cry. But also another thing here on our TV stand are books. Um, usually if you go to Goodwill, you can thrift books like $1 each. So all these cute little books that I fell in love with just because of the covers and stuff were about one to two dollars and sometimes I like to turn them and just have the pages facing the front it gives it a little bit more of a neutral look and then obviously movies y'all movies movie sorry nutcrackers but basically I would say about 10% of our movies are thrifted but here is the tip that I'm going to give you guys Make sure if you ever get a movie that you check the inside of the case. Make sure it's the correct movie and make sure that there's actually something in it. People are sneaky. So, um, just a friendly tip I thought I would throw out there. Maybe I should have done this when it wasn't Christmas. 
Um, another thrifted thing in here is this basket <laughs> that I decided to put our blankets in. This blanket was a gift, and then this blanket was actually thrifted. So try to keep the blankets neutrals or kind of like my favorite colors. So, and then the basket was just perfect. It actually had a liner inside of it, but we took the liner out and now it just goes cute right here next to our TV stand. And then over here is our finished nook. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw the transition. It once was, <laughs> it once was my soccer clothes closet and I just decided let's just take the door out, clean it out and make it a cute little nook. And then up here on the shelf are a few thrifted things. Um, this cute little canvas was thrifted, I want to say for about like $10, a little pricey, but this basket, I knew I either wanted to rest it on a shelf or put it on, um, on the wall. And it's perfect. This little wall rack here, I have been searching for one of these for the longest time. And I finally found one that was the perfect size for this wall, the perfect color. And it was like a few bucks maybe. I remember this thing being like really inexpensive. But look how cute it is on this wall. Over here on this little side table, I thrifted a few more books. Again, these all were from Goodwill, I think, a dollar each. Really, really inexpensive. And if you have a wax melter, guys, you need to start thrifting your um, wax. What are <laughs> wax cubes? <laughs> what are they? I don't know. But you need to start thrifting them because they are really inexpensive in thrift stores. We could maybe get like a whole package of them for a dollar. Over here on the couch, another thrifted blanket. We have a ton. Oh, look at all the Margo hair. Ew. Do you realize how much hair you get on our furniture? <sighs> but yes, a lot of neutral colored blankets that we thrifted. On our coffee table. Oh my gosh, I did not thrift this. If I ever find a Joanna Gaines book in a thrift store, the world has officially come to an end. Why would anyone donate Joanna Gaines? No, that would, yeah, I bought that. But I did thrift this um, Old Home Love um, home decor book, and I just thought the outside cover was really attractive, really pretty. I love the gold trim. And I kind of was drawn to this because of its looks, and its simplicity, but I, then I started looking in the book and it actually has some really good stuff. And I thrifted this for, I think, it could have been around $13. Kind of pricey for a book that's been thrifted, but this thing's massive, so I decided it was worth spending the money on. Put you back here, Joanna, my girl. Um, I also thrifted these cute little, I wanna say, they're meant for putting hot things, like hot plates, so you don't ruin um, like a countertop or something. But me and Will saw them and they're wicker, so I immediately just wanted them. I had no idea what they were used for, but I kind of like them as coasters. So we've been using them as coasters. These two are kind of the same design and this one's more of like a circle design. I want to say we got them all together for five bucks and they're pretty big like here's my hand so if that says anything also just got this from the in-laws for christmas and i think they got it at a marketplace but excuse me mr grinch it's a cute little school desk how adorable is that my mother-in-law says she got a set of two for fifteen dollars which is crazy because I've been searching for one of these forever. Every antique store that I've been to, one desk was like around $100. So she got this for a really good deal. So yeah, kind of what I said before, there's um, not a whole lot of thrifted things in our living room. Basically because I wanted our living room to feel new and buy some newer things that weren't previously owned. And I had specific pieces of furniture, like the mindset I wanted to go was very boho and mid-century modern. So 
didn't really find a lot of thrifted things like that at the time, so I just went ahead and bought some new stuff and new decor and put a lot of just little thrifted things around. So, But you will see when I post videos later of the rest of the rooms in our house that there are much more thrifted things in other rooms. So there's the living room, and if you want to stick around, I'm going to show you the things that I thrifted yesterday, just a quick little thrift haul. And that is it. So if you like this video, that's great. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'm going to continue on and show you some of the thrifted things I found yesterday. I've been dying to find crew neck sweatshirts. And mm, our Goodwill barely has any. So kind of disappointing. But I did find this one. I also found a lot of Christmas sweaters. Look at the ugliness. How amazing. And this one has the little zippers, like a little... What is this thing? I don't even know. But it's so cute. And grandma-ish. Same for this one. The zipper is like a little present, I think. But look at all the awkwardness of this sweater. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Um... Thrifted another basic kind of jacket. I just liked the color on this one. And then I'm not a yellow. I'm not really a colory person. Like when it comes to clothes and jackets especially. But I really like this yellow jacket. It's just like an overcoat actually. It was my size and then the buttons are really cute. And... I'm not a yellow person at all, but this one was in really good condition, and why not? I also thrifted this little cream uh, sweater top thing, and this cute little rain jacket. Look how cute. Like, this jacket was just too freaking cute. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your thoughts are and let me know how you loved our new nook and things like that. I just want to say that I really do enjoy making these videos. If you are watching them, thank you so much. But um, I guess I'm going to go. <laughs> Bye!